there was a couple on my mission that I, you know, we went over to their house for dinner one time. They invited us over. The man had recently converted to Mormonism, and the woman, I believe, had been a member her whole life. And they were a newlywed couple. They had only been married maybe one or two years, uh, not very long. And I remember them telling us that they had never had a fight. They had never... Um, fought with each other the whole time they'd been uh, together. And they said, of course, many people <laughs> did not believe them when they said this. Many people just thought, said, you know, oh, you're just bragging or something. And one thing that really struck me was that the man said, you know, what what is important to you? That's the thing. Do you... All you have to do is place your love for the other person in the relationship greater than any other anything that you could ever argue about, any issue that ever might come up on which you might disagree. Is that more important to you than your love for your spouse? And, you know, that always stuck with me. And the thing is, I, d I don't think... I don't think that two people in a relationship need to fight. I think there's this misconception that fights are inevitable or that, you know, you're you're definitely going to fight when you're in a relationship. There are all sorts of jokes about how marriage is miserable. And even bumper stickers that say if gays want to get married, let them be miserable like the rest of us. Now, of course, I su I support the uh I mean, I appreciate the support for gay marriage, but uh, um, I think the this uh, mindset that people in a relationship must fight is is rather disheartening. But at any rate, Conrad and I have we've been dating for not quite a year yet, and he's been living with me for about a half a year. And we've never fought. We've never had a fight. We've never argued with each other. We've never, neither one of us has called the other person a, a bad name or insulted the other one or, or even spoken cross or angry words at the other person. It hasn't happened. Because, well, I think there's several reasons. I think the biggest reason is that we love each other. And I'm, I'm not about to say something so horrible and so mean to somebody that I love, uh, I I don't I don't see how that is helpful. I don't see how that displays my love for him. And I think it's more important for me to show love to him than to show anger and whatever. I think another reason is that. Um, we've we've both been hurt so much in life that we don't want to hurt anymore and we don't want to make the other person hurt. We know what it's like to be hurt. And so it's better to protect the other person's feelings than to hurt the other person's feelings. Um, both of us have acknowledged that in many, many ways being gay has been a blessing been a wonderful thing <clears throat> to teach us uh, to teach us compassion and to teach us you know to help us see the world probably a little bit better anyway we we just don't um, neither one of us finds it necessary to put our own needs or our own desire to be right above the needs of our relationship or above the needs of the other person. I think each one of us wants to do what is best for us and for the other person rather than what's best for ourselves. And I even read an article about this. Somebody posted this on um, Facebook. The, the, the name of the article 
was marriage is for losers, which <laughs> might have a certain um, you might have a certain uh, misconception of what the article is about just by the title. But anyway, he was he was just the author was just making a point that marriage isn't a competition against each other of who can win the most. It's a competition of of who can lose the most. You know, if if you've got something going on that conflicts with what the other person is trying to do, um, one of you is going to lose one way or the other. And your marriage will be much more peaceful if you both decide to lose rather than if you both decide to win. Because, I mean, this thing about it is it is it all that important whether you go here for Thanksgiving or there for Christmas what's the most important the most important is that you love each other and support each other and you know as far as far as I see it why why argue? Why fight? I mean, people that know me know I'm, I'm argumentative, and, and I'll argue a point with anybody that wants to argue with me. But I'm not going to let that damage my relationship with um, the man that I love. I mean, we can we can discuss things, we can debate things, and uh, <clears throat> and still both be uh, perfectly content with each other, and and that's what we do. There's no need. I don't. Uh, <coughs> I don't even. Not even argumentative me has the need to pick fights with Conrad. And to try to prove to him that I'm smarter, or better, or more right than he is. I, I don't have that need. Um, because the only need I have is, is to love him. To love him, to make him feel special. And to make him feel wanted and cared for. And gladly... He does the same for me, and he's a real sweetheart, and I have thoroughly enjoyed um, being with him. And, and I, I have to say that I'm happier now than I ever have been before in my life. I'm glad to have him in my life. I'm glad to have a man that I can love this much, and a man that loves me this much, and that we can get along so well. And, and love and cherish each other. And uh, that's really, that's all I have to say, just that uh, love can work, love can happen, and it should. 